It is another day after a rainstorm. It's just non-stop raining over here. But today I am in Roswell, Georgia, checking out a place called Vickery Creek Trail. Uh, we'll see how it's like. Today's hike has an objective at the end of it. We are going to go check out the Roswell Manufacturing Company Mills Ruins that was constructed in 1839 and 1853. I don't really know where I'm going. I'm just following this gigantic trail. There's a bridge above. So it seems like we're taking the bridge up. That'll be fun. Let's go. So one of the reasons why I come out to random parks, as I always state in each of one of my videos, is mostly for weight loss. I am actually starting on the opposite side of the entire area. I already miss my beard. At first, I thought this was the objective that I was supposed to reach, but unfortunately this was not, and I still had an entire hike ahead of me. We crossed the bridge. That bridge was the wobbliest bridge I've ever walked on. It was actually kind of scary. But now we're on the other side of the river. As you can see, we were just right over there. And now it's time to see what else this trail has to offer besides such a thin walkway. The target goal is to drop 80 pounds by the end of 2021. I'm actually kind of happy today is a really nice day, especially because for like six days straight, there was just thunderstorm after like rainy nights, thunderstorm, rainy night. Slowly making progress. Since February, I'm actually down 11 pounds, so these journeys into the forest are actually really helping me out a lot. Crouch through this. This is amazing. I have to crouch just to get through here. I don't know if a storm passed through here or something. Like this trail is covered in dead trees. So it looks like the trees completely blocked off the trail. So I'm gonna head back and get on a different trail. I hope you can hear this. The sound of nature. Hopefully you don't hear the cars. <laughs> so while I'm walking, I just wanted to let you guys know about my Patreon. Uh, what that does is it basically financially supports me in my endeavors on YouTube. So if you guys want to help me out, even uh, just the $3 a month really goes a long way. Uh, the link will be in the description and hopefully uh, you enjoy what I do and you want to support me, check me out over there. With that being said, it's time to go find our ruins. Time skip, we made it. First, we're gonna check out the 1839 ruins. First thing that they show us is some broken parts and some really, really old parts that were potentially from the mill itself. Yep, 
you can actually still see the outline of the building itself. It is actually really spectacular to be able to see this. Historical records actually state that the mills were burned by Union forces on July 7th of 1864. Seeing ruins like this is actually pretty amazing, but I am also here to see the dam that they made to power the windmill itself. Did I say windmill? You know what I mean. I mean a mill! For those of you that don't know what a water mill is, the location that we're currently at right now, a water mill is basically it's a water wheel or a turbine that is connected to a device and it drives a mechanical process. And what that does is that it can be used for uh, grinding flour, making agricultural produce, cutting up materials such as pulp or timber, or metal shaping. I'm actually curious what this is. I wonder what this was. We have reached one of the core machines of the mill. I'm not too much of an expert on mills, but from the looks of it, I think the roof is not something from the 1800s. I believe they just put that there just so that, you know, the materials will survive the test of time, just so that people have something to look at. Let's see it from the top. The view from the top was nothing really special. It is finally time for the grand reveal of the dam. Murky water because it rained yesterday. Let's go to the other side now. Now just for context, this bridge was built in 2004 so it is not really historical, it's just an easier access to the other side. I'm about to have to climb all of these stairs. On the other side. Mm -hmm. 
the end journey of this trail to be able to see this dam and seeing the ruins is actually really amazing and you know the five mile hike was actually worth it in the long run to be able to see this if you guys have any other suggestions of places to go within the greater Atlanta area like northern part of Georgia let me know and I'll see if I can check it out So my Osmo action camera has a HDR function, so I just tried that out, see how it turned out. Eh, I didn't really like it, but I'm going to put it in here just to show you guys what HDR looks like on a tiny little action camera. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out my Patreon if you really want to support me. Whew. This was the toughest one yet, climbing this entire mountain. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.